So here is a problem involving commutative probability with the binomial distribution. We've got 65% of a large population of fish are infected with a disease. A random sample of 30 fish is selected. Find the probability that the sample contains more than 8 infected fish, but less than 20. Now, we know that this is going to be binomially distributed because the fish are either infected or they're not infected. And so we've got those two possible options. So we've got the x is binomially distributed. We're looking at a sample of 30, so n is 30, and the probability of being infected is 0.65. That's your probability p. We want to know the probability that a sample contains more than 8 infected fish, but less than 20. So we want the probability of x being greater than 8, but less than 20. So this is not one that we would calculate every individual probability. You could, but it's going to take you a long time. So, because we're looking at between 8 and 20, not including those two at the end, the 8 and the 20, that means we're going from 9 up to 19. So this is the probability of x being greater than or equal to 9, but less than or equal to 19. And so to calculate it, this would be the probability that x is less than or equal to 19, so that includes from 19 all the way down to 0, but we don't want the values from 0 up to 8, because we want 9 upwards. So 0 to 8 we don't want, and so we want to subtract the probability of x being less than or equal to 8. Okay. Now you can do this using the tables, or as I'm going to show, uh, I'm going to do it using the TI-82 stats. So we want to use the TI-82 stats to quickly be able to do a binomial distribution where in this case we have n is 30 and p is 0.65 and we want to find the probability of x being larger than 8 but less than 20. So first of all I want to, to identify that this is equal to the probability of x being less than or equal to 19 Okay, so that's from all the way from x is 0 up to 19, and take away uh, the probability of x being less than or equal to 8. Because I want all the values between 9 and 19, effectively. Okay, so 9 and 19. If I find the probability of x being less than or equal to 19, and then take away the first 8 well, from 0 up to 8, then I'm left with 9 to 19. So I'm going to need to work out each of these probabilities in turn. You can do it in one go on the calculator, um, so, but I'm going to do it in turn, just to show a little bit more working. So we want to go into the distributions, so second and then VARS. Go down to binom CDF, because we want the cumulative probability press enter. Now we input it as n, so that's 30, comma p, the probability, 0 0.65, and comma, first one we're going to do is 19, so 19, and close the bracket, and that gets us this probability here. So we have 0 0.4922417807 and I'm going to subtract, well, I'm going to do the same thing again, so second, distra, uh, vars rather, and then go into your distributions, down to binom CDF, same values for n, same values for p, and then it's the x value that's different, because this time I'm looking at 8, close the bracket, and that gets me this value here, so 2.122602912 times 10 to the power of minus 5. So that would be 0.0000212620.
zero two nine one two so etc okay so when doing this um, you could do this all in one go on your calculator as I said uh, I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way so go on to the calculator again so we're going to do 0 0.49 2417807 take away 0 0.000 21226 that'll do and I've gone wrong and because I used a minus sign I think instead of a take away press enter and we get our answer of 0 0.49222 okay so that would be my answer there if you wanted to do this in one go then you can go to the second, then VAOS, down to Binom CDF again, and then you can do 30, comma 0.65, comma 19. Close the bracket, then take away, and do the same thing, Binom CDF. This saves you having to type in the values, the uh, long numbers. 30, comma, 0.65, comma, 8. Close bracket, press enter, and there's our answer. Okay, so you can do it in one go in one sum on the calculator.